faced with weeks of driving across treacherous rocks or a shortcut across a potential sand trap, Perseverance broke on through the sand and found an island littered with rocks like none ever seen before on Mars. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance among large sand ripples at the edge of Naretva Vallis after the team chose to bail on the original plan to drive along the bank of this ancient river channel. That route was covered in cobbles and boulders, like the terrain Perseverance has been struggling through for weeks. Driving in the channel looked like a better option, but that meant crossing through drifted sand with the risk of getting stuck. Apparently that risk was deemed acceptable, so Perseverance was commanded to drive through the sand. But instead of heading northwest, it hooked to the east, or maybe that's a slice. It ended the drive at some small hills in the center of the channel, completing a remarkable 200-meter drive. It hasn't done that since Sol 1046, just over four months ago. This island of material probably represents the eroded remnants of a once larger deposit that covered the channel floor. Here's the view looking into the sun showing the long drive across the channel floor, and here's Mars Guy for scale. As was evident from the starting point, the terrain within the channel provides much easier driving than the channel bank, and with the exception of a large but avoidable sand ripple, the look ahead toward the bright angel feature looks notably benign. But it's the view behind that's so exciting. The contours of this landscape are quite striking, with the large sand ripples lapping onto the rock-covered hills, which is in stark contrast to the sparse rock cover of the channel floor. That is, until reaching the slope of this island terrain, which is littered with remarkably dark and notably rounded rocks. Note that in this scene, Simeon has seamlessly merged the lower resolution nav cam images with higher resolution mass cam Z images. This allows for incredibly detailed views. The rocks look so dark thanks to the typical dust cover having been removed from the windward surfaces facing up channel, probably by occasional strong winds funneled down channel and the rounding is consistent with rocks tumbled by flowing water. Some could have been carried into Jezero Crater from the watershed of Naretva Vallis well outside the crater. So we're looking at a scientific grab bag of rocks, most of which were likely transported here from places that Perseverance will never visit. One of them stands in stunning contrast to the others, it may have the lightest natural surface yet seen by any rover. And it's not just light, it looks fairly white too, which is nicely shown by comparison with the truly white surfaces of the rover. But a closer inspection also shows a salt and pepper look with pinkish modeling. This makes it look strikingly similar to granite, which would be a stunning discovery on Mars given its lack of plate tectonics but zooming in further provides more clues. Simeon made this seamless merge of the highest resolution of mass cam Z and even higher resolution super cam images. The biggest dark spots have the purplish hue of the ubiquitous rock coating seen since the beginning of the mission. A nearby rock viewed by super cam shows a great example of this coating. Some unknown process, likely involving small amounts of water interacting with dust, has almost literally painted these rocks with a coating that is being eroded off in the current climate. This has me wondering if the pinkish hue on the salt and pepper rock is a thin remnant of this coating or some other alteration. It has no sharp boundaries, like shown by the gray bits. They have shapes that are notably similar to ones in this hornblende-rich diorite from the Henry Mountains in the U.S. state of Utah. Diorite is a quartz-poor igneous rock that can form in a shallow magma chamber, like the one that formed the Henry Mountains rock. 
I'll hold off on any more interpretations to see if the team chooses to drive Perseverance up to the rock for a closer inspection. At this point though, I'm excited that Perseverance has broken on through to the other side of the sand and dug up some treasures there. 